who will be crowned Mzanzi's next cooking star? The search continues right here on Color Your Plate with Ku. Contestants, hello. Hi. Welcome back to the Color Your Plate with Ku kitchen, this time for elimination. My strategy for this elimination is I'm going to go all out. I'm not going home today, that's all I know. Ooh, last week a lot happened, things did not go to plan, but today we're here and we're gonna live to fight another day. I'm quite positive this week, I'm bringing a different energy, I'm ready for today. I know these kinds of challenges are daunting, but this is the time where you put your best foot forward. Mujaj, this is your first elimination. Yo, I'm so worried, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm everything in a ball, Nji. Yo. Let me remind you on why you're here. You are here to inspire our nation to lead healthier and happier lives, of course, using the convenience of coup. The theme of this challenge is keeping in line with the times we find ourselves in. Easter is one of the biggest holidays on the calendar of South Africans. It's a time for family, celebrations, and of course, healthy and nutritious meals. And because this challenge is all about abundance, bringing joy through food, we have decided to invite a guest to our little feast. Please welcome chef, cookbook author, content creator, The Funny Chef. I am Lebekhan Tlokana known as The Funny Chef. I am an author, I am an actress, and I'm a presenter. I am excited to be a guest judge on Color Your Plate with Crew for this season because the way the contestants cook, who would not want to sit at the table? Nobody. <laughs> Whoa! Thank, Thank, Thank you! Happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. Today we've got a guest judge. I hear she's funny. <laughs> a little bit intimidated knowing that she's going to be the guest judge today, but I can only put my best foot forward and she will love what I cook. For today's challenge, we want you to create the ultimate Easter feast. Seven colors in its fullest glory. You'll have to add three sides to your main plate and you'll have to incorporate at least three cool products. And as always, we don't just throw you out into the sea without a life raft. Our resident chef, Ruben, has prepared some ideas for you. So it's time for the masterclass. masterclass. <laughs> I think last week I felt really overwhelmed, especially with the time and even with the masterclass. I think I'm gonna to stick to my guns today. Right guys, so this is uh, the time of the year when we obviously spend time with families and you understand what your challenge is today. I love adding a lot of different flavors, elements with my sides. Now, yes, we all love a good sort of centerpiece roast, but I think the sides always bring sort of the excitement, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. okay. I I mean, what is your go-to vegetable, for example? I mean, I don't... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> if, uh, potatoes? Sure, okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I love butternut. That's one of my favorites. And now, growing up was always like sweet pumpkin or sweet butternut. But there's obviously so much more you can do with it. So we're gonna roast the butternut. We're gonna add a bit of honey to that. That makes it a bit more unique. It's a pesto that we're gonna be making. So Lebo, we're gonna just cut that up. You know, otherwise you, you just my skills for the first half. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. <laughs> okay. So kind of a rough chop, basically to allow us to get it into our little food processor. All right. not a problem. Okay. I'm just gonna do a bit of olive oil over our butternut and then it goes straight into the oven. Also just obviously salt. You know, that's the other thing, you know, sometimes you become like really uh, creative and maybe too ambitious, sure. especially when you sort of want to get the food ready. Anyway, timing is important. Very People easy. are hungry, they're waiting. I agree, yeah. as, you, as you can see, so we I need, don't know yeah. what to do, I'm so we, Yeah, so we need to move. <laughs> okay, roast it in the oven. Okay, so then I'm adding preserved lemon. So preserved lemon adds a, quite a nice... I wanted to say kick. kick. For some odd reason, a different like kick. kick. Yeah, it's got that kind of fermented sort of smell to it. Acha. Like acha. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> it's all about the skin. Mm -hmm. Because you preserved it, sure. it's taken away uh, a lot of that bitterness that you get in the pith. So that goes in there. Pepper dews were like a thing at some stage and then we stopped using them. Mm -hmm. It's got a really nice sort of pickled sweetness to it that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So that goes in there. Some cumin, mm -hmm. garlic, 
Okay, and then ginger. I mean, you can put it in a hole in there, but I, I think just to control, I don't want to keep on blending it because you know, the other thing in blending, the longer you blend, the warmer your, your mixture gets. And if it's green, basically it starts to cook a little bit and you don't want that. Did I know that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just fighting through life. <laughs> Some smoked paprika. Okay, yep. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay, some fennel seeds, also one of my favorites. Olive oil. Of course. Okay. It's our time to shine. <laughs> I'm so happy. This moment is not momenting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Should you do it again? But you, go, you have to act like we yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Just, just Yeah. Do, can you do that for us, please? Of course I can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. This looks yeah, absolutely colors look lovely. Oh, that's so nice. Nice. Give it a smell. Magic. Nice, huh? Mm. Okay, so we'll put that to the side, wait for the butternut to finish roasting, and then we'll finish it off a little bit later. Okay. Baked beans. Lebo, so we're gonna... Are you okay with the blender again I mean, at this time? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have some coriander. Okay. We're making a, like a bit of a spice paste to add to the baked beans. Oh, okay. okay, so we're gonna change the flavor a little bit. Okay. Parsley, mm -hmm. coriander, olive oil. So we're still going in with that lemon? That goes in there. Tiny bit of cumin. Mm -hmm. So this is like a bit of a harissa paste. Okay. And here we have like more like a dry version of that spice. Okay. Here we go. Okay, thank you, Lebu. I'm gonna start frying the onion quickly. Yeah. Evan. Yeah. Evan. Yeah. Hey. But I wanna add a little bit of green chili while, while Lebo's chopping our chili. Okay, Lebo, let's add our spice paste. Okay. Is it me? That's it's you, chili. that's you, that's you, that's you. Your cue. Okay. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It smells absolutely mm. stunning. Lovely. It's, only, it, it's like a chakalaka, but like yeah. that went to private school. Yeah. <laughs> this is fancy. Yeah. I think let's add the heat. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Lovely. Okay, so the beans are not done. I'm actually going to bake it. Okay, so they go straight in there. Do you know what fagu moya is? No. So like when you go to like bread that's not sliced, yes. we call it fagu moya. It looks big, but it, deep inside, we know it's not. Yeah. So I could take it and I could just scoop. Scoop it. And mind my own business. And then, and then you'll be more than okay. happy. I don't think, are we still adding? Because I can <laughs> still only adding. imagine what's going to go down. Yeah, we're still adding. So here we have some uh, mozzarella. buffalo mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to crap. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add our crunch element. Okay, here we have some phyllo pastry. Mm -hmm. And again, this is just to add crunch. Sure. And Lebo, what we have here, this is a, like a North African spice also, it's called za'atar. Mm -hmm. Za'atar. Yeah, so it's, it's got a... to war. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but smell, it's got like sort of uh, oregano, and sure. those, uh, uh, black pepper, sesame. All put together, I think it's actually, yeah. There. yeah. Let me hand it to you because yeah. I can see we're struggling. There yeah, we go. We are. It's a bit too fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can do the last one. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> tears my eyes. <laughs> okay, now okay. just drizzle the honey and then I'll come with the za'atar. Okay, the za'atar. Here we go. Oh, za'atar is doing za'atar. <laughs> za'atar is za'atar -ing. So our oven, about 160. All we want to do is, again, we're not trying to cook the beans. We're melting the cheese and we're crisping up the phyllo. That's all we want to do. Okay. okay, let's bring it all together and uh, I'll show you also what else I've done for our sides, okay? Okay. What I like about today's masterclass is seeing how I can use baked beans in a different and yummy way. That was really cool. Okay, Lebo, let's put it all together. Sure. Everything is done, our butternut is roasted. Mm -hmm. We have some crisp on, the, on those beans. Mm -hmm. So we're just making a little beetroot salad, okay? Okay. Okay, so here we have tarragon, we have dill, we have mint and parsley. Sure. So that's gonna go in there. Mm -hmm. Sultanas. Some red onions. onions. I think the colors go nice it's together as well. Beautiful. Lebo, you can just toss that through a little bit. I'm just gonna add a bit of, just a tiny bit of uh, lemon juice and olive oil, basically. 
It's as simple as that. Hey, straightforward, eh? It really is. Mm. I think I did good. Yeah, you did good. Mm. Okay, some raspberries. Mm. Look at that colour, eh? I'm, I don't even want to mix it. So, like, now you do it, like, very gently, sure. you know? Sure. Was I rough the first time? Uh, <laughs> slightly rough, okay. but maybe... Tone it down, So, we'll plate this up. This is like a pistachio nuts, just with olive oil, just ground it down. You can mm. do it in a food process as well, salt and pepper. Okay. So, this you, you know, just to get the flavour everywhere on... You know, when you scoop yeah. the salad. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Sure. Lovely. Okay, so that one is done, Lebo. Can I take a picture for Instagram? Yes. Sure. Should I do it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is steady. Hey. Look. Yes. I'm just going to act like I made it, so don't, don't show. I think it would be nice if you hold it and I take the picture. Sure, what but you're not going to tell people, you're not going to comment no. on my... I'm going to block you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing next? Butternut. Looks nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Nicely roasted. Actually reminds me of seven colours. Yeah. The entire shebang. Yes. So that just goes over the top. Okay. Okay. As simple as that. That's our butternut. Nice. Done. Ooh. And then we're just going to add some chickpeas mm -hmm. over the top. So that's our baked beans. You can see our filo is nice and crispy now. Yeah. We have the cool whole kernel sweet corn. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put over the beans. And I think we're ready to taste. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. 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 So far, this is definitely my favorite masterclass yet. I absolutely love the funny chef. Ruben's plating today is very nice. It's top notch. It's... This pistachio thing is so good. Mm. That would hey. be a moonwalk. Hey. Yeah, moonwalk. and it's just so good. <laughs> it's actually not too spicy. I thought it was going to be like mm. really spicy. Perfect. So how was that? Delicious. Delicious. Enjoyed it? Mm-hmm. 100%. Are you guys ready for your challenge? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So you've enjoyed the sides, but of course we're missing the main event. Look behind you. Again with those boxes on the table, huh? <sighs> I don't know what's under the boxes, but I'm ready for it. Cookware supplied by Chef Diversitas. Low tan non-stick coatings for easy maintenance and reduced water usage during cleanup. Proudly produced with superior taste right here in Mzanzi because only the best will do. Color your plate with cool. So underneath those boxes are four different types of protein that you guys will then have to incorporate in your main dish. Okay, and then one by one, you'll go up, pick a box, and that will be your main event for the day. Okay, let's start with you, Fatima. Hey. <laughs> Trout fish. <laughs> I have never cooked a full fish before, so I don't know. Old trout. Would you do your turn? Right. Oh, leg of lamb. Leg of lamb. Leg of lamb. Today we are indulging in beautiful meat, okay? Purr. <laughs> Zelda, pick a box. Oh, picanha steak. Yes. Nice. My creative juices are definitely flowing. I'm like, I'm on it today. I'm very excited for this one now. Okay, Ms. Lati, your box is picking you. It's picking me. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's chicken. Okay, don't leave. I really don't like working with chicken. Fatima, you want a swab, bro? <laughs> Give me that fish. <laughs> chicken, whole chicken. Nice. Right, guys, you now know your proteins. Are you ready to cook? Yes. Okay, let's do this. This time around feels very different for me waiting to start cooking. I'm excited, more excited than nervous. Contestants, this is to earn you a spot in the top four. At the end of this challenge, 
one of you will be going home. For this challenge, we're giving you two hours to complete it. And remember, you must use at least three cool products in your spread. Today, we'll also award a winner for this challenge. And the winner will walk away with a Le Creuset stoneware set worth 5,000 Rand. All to play for. Contestants ready? Yes! yes. Steady, color your plates. Oh, let's do this, let's do this. Today is my redemption dish. I need to come back from the trenches that I was in last week. I'm quite uh, nervous about this fish. I'm gonna try and prepare this as I'd like the flavors to be. I am not happy with chicken, <laughs> but I'm gonna make it work. We eat it every day, everywhere, every time. Chicken, chicken, chicken. I wanted that whole fish that Fatima has. Did you see Fatima when she picked the fish? She didn't look that happy. She didn't, yeah, she was like, what? And why is that? I haven't cooked a full fish like this before. Okay. So I'm a little bit concerned. What makes you nervous? What is, yeah, obviously you haven't done it before, yeah. but what, what makes you more nervous about it? The fact that it can be overcooked and the fact that it can be unsafe being undercooked. So, quite nervous about that. It's kind of difficult to overcook it if you go with sort of a medium high temperature, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. you don't need to be too worried, you know, because you don't need to cook it medium rare. Yeah. You know, you just need to cook it fully. Right. You gotta trust it yeah. and follow that, you know? So if you have a temperature, that's the temperature, leave it in there, you right. have more than enough time. So I have an Argentinian cut of meat and throwing some South African ingredients with it on the side, Asian flavor profile. So it's going to be an absolute, like it's gonna be a mishmash of cultures, but I mean, that's South African food culture for you, isn't it? My love for food, pretty much it started developing when I went to university and I got to cook my own meals and my own food. When it comes to baking, I definitely get that from my mom. My first kitchen memory is me sitting on the kitchen counter next to my mom when I was about 10 years old, dipping Cook Sisters in a syrup. Like that's my first kitchen memory and my mom definitely ignited my love for baking. I entered Color Your Plate with Ku because my husband and I really enjoy baking together and cooking together. Everyone always enjoys my food, but you know, the confidence wasn't always there. The show has really helped me boost my confidence a lot. And that's the biggest reason why I did it. And being a stay at home mom and a home cook, going up against chefs is absolutely mind blowing. I feel like I might be one step closer to reaching my dream. And I think my family would be very proud. And it's also for me to be able to show my son, no matter what your age is, there's always a chance to maybe start a new career opportunity. If you're really passionate about something, go after it, it's worth it. So my feast today will include chicken, Hasselback potatoes and butternut salad. I'm also making a bean salsa and I'm also gonna make a beetroot and caramelized onion tart tartin. I wanna get a lot done as quickly as I can so that maybe I might have room or time for a dessert. You never know. Mujaji, this looks interesting. Yeah. What are we looking at? We're looking at my lamb rub mm -hmm. for my Easter lunch. Okay. So I'm rubbing it here with some paprika. I've got garlic in there. I've got rosemary. Okay. I've got oregano. Why are you are salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> My love for cooking definitely comes from my mother and my grandmother. It's definitely genetic. I definitely got it from them. My family loves it. They enjoy every single minute of me cooking. Personally, I don't like cooking that much. I also want to be cooked for. And every day when I'm at and I was like, hi guys, can I catch a break? <laughs> but I do it for them because I love them so much. The first time I ever cooked, my granny wasn't home and I was like, ah, let me try the pots. <laughs> and I did, it worked out. I really enjoy it. It's, it's, it's creativity on a plate and I make you want to eat something and that's what I love. I entered Color Your Plates with Cool to show off my skills. I just wanted to come here, show off, show the people that I can cook so the people can book me. Please book me. <laughs> uh, winning this competition would mean the world to me because of the money, the money, the ching ching. But definitely just getting my name out there and 
just, yeah, exploring. I love cooking lamb because my mom loves lamb. I'm not necessarily a fan, so this one is for her. This is for my mama. <laughs> Contestants, you are halfway in. You have one hour to go. Do not slow down. Woo! Woo so how are you feeling today? You um, personally? Yeah, today I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. This is more of my comfort zone, cooking for a, a, for a whole lot of people yes. rather than cooking in a single well-presented plate. So yeah. I'm definitely more comfortable today. Creating a feast for us. I love that you're in a comfort zone. Then we get to see more of you. Yeah, that's what you didn't see last week, isn't oh, it? Tima, <laughs> love to hear it. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. This is my dressing for my three bean salad. I'm back. <laughs> Zelda, yes. how are you doing? Guys. I'm doing good. How are you guys I'm doing? I'm good. What are you making in there? I'm busy with my lob. Your what? My lob. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Vietnamese dish, usually with pork mince, but I'm showcasing the beautiful chickpeas that Ku has in their range. So yeah, going a little bit vegetarian, obviously there's fish sauce in it. So it's not entirely vegetarian, but no pork. Is this the fried? The fr egg fried egg sampan fried beans. Sampan beans. Egg fried yes. sampan beans. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All sorts of nice Asian flavors. So you're going just making on. like an Asian feast for Easter. Mm. Definitely, yes. That's what I'm going for. That's typically what I'm aiming yes. for today. Yeah, because you, you have to go big or go home. It's an elimination challenge. You guys like it spicy? Spicy, umami. Aye. Maybe you want to I like me some spice. Mm -hmm. You know? That's good to know. Uh, one level. Just as long as it's food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> spicy, not like food, food. We're good to go. I it's just want to I will feed you well today, I promise. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. What is the better for? It's a surprise. I'm joking. I decided that I'm going to make another element. So I'm making a milk tart <laughs> with an apple compote. So I want to find it on the hey, spread. It's a component of the spread. Who's was so inviting. <laughs> Oh. I'm being very extra today. I was offended by Ruben last week, eh? We expected more from you. So, more, Baba. More. You know what? How do we work on multitasking? Yeah. We're talking it. about this. This is it. This is it. What are we looking at, ma'am? Fish is in the oven. So that's the two elements of my of my um, sides, which is a potato bake and a savory rice. Yeah. I'm going to be including in my savory rice some cool mixed vegetables and black kidney beans. So you're stacking this, it's potato, the corn, the bake, the cream, everything in between? And mushroom, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm currently busy making my Nook Mom dipping sauce. It's going to be served with a chickpea lob that they're going to put in the lettuce cups, wrap it up, dip it in all this goodness. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> It's spicy, I forgot. I put chili in it. Get excited, eh? But we're not excited again more. It's the flavoring that's more important than anything else. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, Kale, rosemary, you know, when you infuse flavor and it just becomes abundance. And I'm looking at, Fatima's never um, cooked a full fish, fish before. Mm. Um, in this kitchen, listen, especially in the elimination challenge, you have to be sure about what you're doing, especially when you've never cooked something before. Mm. So the planning is important. Mm. If she approaches with her heart and soul and gut feeling, mm. I mean, even if you have not cooked something, but just your experience and technique in the kitchen, mm. yeah. will help you. Either Excuse you get it right or you get it wrong. Mm. Mm. What do you think? This is the worst time to get it wrong because one person is going home. Okay, yes. that's the sad part. Mm. It must all be easy on nights like these. Tasty and convenient. Because only the best will do. Color your plate with Koo. Contestants, you have 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left, let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the rice. It has the sweetness of the onions. There's some um, sultanas inside. It looks nice, and I think and I think it tastes nice. Mujaji, could I not try the florets, broccoli, cauliflower, green beans? Hey, 
Who be easy? Mm. The cauliflower and the broccoli is a nice fresh element. Mm. Some blanched vegetables. Can't go wrong with blanched vegetables in a feast. Something veggie. Veggie. Okay, what are today? You're following the GPS. Today? Hey. This is the last one today. Hey. 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 Ah 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 the element is the roast how it like? My roast is coming together quite nicely. I even dropped the temperature so when you guys eat it you just pull apart. I'm obviously still checking on my steak every now and then, my roast in the oven. And I'm thinking about another little element I might be able to add as well. I'm thinking a white butter bean puree to go under my steak or under the roast, but I'm not sure how to get that to tie in with the Asian theme, so I'm still playing around with the idea at the moment. Hey! Hi! Hi. Full of pastry. Yes, this is going to be for my milk tart base. In, in it, I did it like, like a baklava sort of. Yes. So it's layered with some nuts, mm -hmm. just to add like a bit of nut. If I have time, I'll make a apple compote. So you're doing mains, you're doing dessert, you're doing a whole yeah, spread. I mean, why not? You know what? But so, so my tart tartin is also out. Mujaji, talk again, Chief. I see nothing of yours there. According to Mujaji, your station when No, it is because, no, I think because you know when you do more, Mm, yeah. Cool. When you do more, there's more on exactly. the station. That's what happens when you do more. I've layered my chakalaka thing, so this is going to go into a blender, but I want it chunky still, mm -hmm. and this is going to be for the potatoes to dip. Okay. So I give it a little bit of a cup of tea, and I give it a little bit of a It's there. <laughs> but are we fighting? Yeah, I'm fighting with you guys. You're I'm, I was offended last week. You know, I got home and cried. That's my judge. Ooh. What's happening? Do you think I should put in um, the fish just to broil a bit? Yeah. What else is going to happen? I want to just put in the, the, the garlic butter with the, some of the dill. Okay. Get it a bit more nutty. I like that there's a bit of a friendly rivalry going on between Matlatsi and Mujachi. <laughs> keeping each other on their toes. I know, which is nice to see, right? Yeah. Because it's keeping the fun in the kitchen yeah. and just making the cook easy and enjoyable. Yeah. I think maybe they came in focused and, and, and ready to take on the challenge. They know that someone is going home today. And after last week's challenge, I think they need to redeem themselves. The top five now, and it's do or die. Yeah. It's anyone's game now. Yeah. Contestants, you have less than two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Come on, guys, finish off, finish oh. off. I think it's a serious job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my steak resting. I don't want it to be seeping out all over the dish. I want to try to avoid that. Getting all my little elements together, making sure I've got everything ready for plating. I'm trying to, to put my baby marrows just to look a little bit more presentable. I do not have time, but I, it needs to be looking good. I 100% got the brief. I ticked all the boxes. I went over and above as well. I pushed myself today. Ah, today I'm happy. Today I'm on time, not shaky. <laughs> just garnishing, looking at final touches. But I'm happy, 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 happy. 10, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, six, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay away from the stage, guys. Two hours, and I'm seeing some amazing creations. Me too. Hey, Leva. Me too. Mm. Smells good in the it, kitchen as everything well. Everything is just coming together. Okay. It we... actually looks like we're going to feast. Mm. Mm. Lots That's of what color. we want. Yes. We want a feast. Are we guys ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, hello everybody, welcome to my table. <laughs> I went through a lot of trouble to bring this decadence to you. I hope wow. you like it. Great job. It's quite Thank nice. Thank you for inviting us to your table. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Today the challenge was give us a feast. Yes. We want decadence, we want abundance, we want soul, we want love, we want color, we want flavor. We asked a lot of them. Do you guys think we're gonna get it? I really think so. I, I think with all those elements, they all of them finished in time. In time. Yeah. Mm. Well, then let's have the first feast. Absolutely. Today, what's going to impress the judges is definitely my mushroom, creamy bacon samp. But I'm very happy, very happy with how my dish turned out. Mama, 
Ya hao e utlwa. Love you. <laughs> Muchachi. How was that? That was good. Way better than last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely last week was still weighing on my mind and this is why I had to take out my best foot today. I can see you put your best foot forward because this looks gorgeous. Take us through what you've prepared for us. So today we have creamy mushroom samp, three bean salad, a beetroot and butternut salad, and the most important meal of the day, the roast lamb. <laughs> <laughs> shall we taste? Okay, let's we taste. Shall. Okay now. You did well. Thank you. <laughs> you came for redemption and you got it. You put your best foot forward and just that samp and beans with the bacon and the mushroom is so beautifully done. The flavors are there, it's smoky as well. Every time you take a bite, you get something different. This is absolutely beautiful. The spread is beautiful. The colors are there, the flavors are there. Well done. Thank you. Well, Jaji, before I even get to sort of talk about the food, I think the spread just gives that kind of family sort of vibes, you know, mm. sitting around the table with a family and, and the lamb is cooked really nicely, that sauce, every element, the cauliflower and the, and the broccoli. I'm, I'm actually glad that you kept it kind of simple. So yeah, mm. loved it. Thank you. You know when you, when you have pieces of everything in one plate, this made every bit of sense. Each and every bite made sense. So I wanted to, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you so sure. much. <laughs> you cut out your plates today. Thank you, Mujaj. Thanks. Thank you. I'm doing checklists today. The judges love my dishes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mini. This was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely love that. Very satisfying. This was a spread. And it brings joy and happiness. Mm. Exactly. And that's what food is. Yeah. Love I it. felt that. Next one. Go to that. I feel like I did well, but you can never know with the judges. You can never know what pleases them, what they want. If you hit the brief, it's nerve wracking as always. Hello, judges. Hello, my sister. <laughs> Another successful cook for you today in the kitchen? Yes, today was a lot of fun. Um, we got to play a lot, have fun with it. And you even had time to make a dessert. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Over ambitious. So I made you guys chicken. I made Hasselback potatoes, butternut salad, corn and black bean salsa. And I made a beetroot and caramelized onion tart tartan. And obviously, I made a milk tart. Okay. Shall we dig in? We shall. Let's do that. Get going. Yes, I don't know where to begin. The pumpkin salad was absolutely stunning. Thank you. The, the, you know how you've got three levels of taste in your mouth. It hit on the spot right there. Your seasoning to the chicken, ma'am. <laughs> Round of applause. The dessert. <laughs> That's all. That's all you wrote. Yes. <laughs> Matlads, we know you always bring a great deal of technique and skill. And today, of course, you still brought it. And I think today, I also felt the soul. I mean, the cook on the spatch cooked chicken, amazing. The chakalaka dip that you have there, amazing. The spread, just that everybody's invited and we all had a feast. Thank you, thank you. I absolutely love what you did here today. Honestly, I, I could feel your energy and, and matlazi in each and every plate. And, and this dessert was genius. 
this is the kind of disease that husbands take home to their wives, got tap away and say, you see, this is what I want. Wabo? Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Well done. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks Thank you. I think I've redeemed myself. I'm happy. That was the goal for me this week. The lady came yeah. to fight. Oh, she fought. She fought. She today. fought a good battle. Mm. She went all out. And it showed how much she wants this. Mm. And that's what I was missing. Yeah. Let's have the next one. We shall. Make by the brand you love, Cool Beetroot. Just open and use as is for everyone to enjoy. Color your plate with Cool. I'm definitely happy with the spread. These are definitely the flavors that I enjoy eating, that I enjoy sharing with my family and friends. Now it's just holding thumbs, hoping the judges love it as much as I do. Oh, I'm so short. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Zelda. Zelda, please tell us what you've prepared for us. Okay, so my protein is the beautiful picanha steak that I paired with an Asian-inspired kind of chimichurri, egg fried rice or inspired samp and beans, as well as a spicy crew whole kernel corn salad with my take on a lob. Instead of using pork mince, I use the wonderful chickpeas. Let's taste. Okay. Thank you. Okay, do you want some wine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think this is a good start. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> Zelda, you definitely brought fireworks. I mean, an absolute cracker. I can't even speak myself now. Lovely. Spread, still burning, and you did say it's got a punch, and I didn't listen, so my fault. I was worried about the Asian theme that you were going for. The lab for me, lovely, I love it. Um, yes, it packs a punch, but it's quite, um, you know, that texture, it's, it's, it's very meat-like. Mm. Uh, from a textural point of view, I think the samp, I don't think it really works, but Flavor-wise, it's not so bad. I think just in terms of the texture, it's not really there. Your meat cooked really nicely. Mm. Yeah, all in all, I think you did a fantastic job. Well done. Thank you very much. So I I want to disagree when it comes to the samp, right? Okay. So I'm thinking, had you cheated it with a little bit of chakalak and turned that into a kimchi, that would have been great. <laughs> that would have been great. I liked it. I liked everything about it. Thank you very You're much. Thank, Thank you, Zelda. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Zelda. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the judging. It just, it makes my heart happy. That's what you want to hear. First three feasts are uh, different interpretation, but great in packing flavor. And so I think sometimes with serving it on a board like this, you know, even though the meat's cooked really nicely, it's, it's lovely pink. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a little bit of that juice is seeping off the board instead of serving it on a, like a nice sort of serving platter. So in terms of the look, Maybe that's a slightly off-putting. But it's still a beautiful roast. Let's have the final dish. I'm pretty happy about the fish that I've made, and I'm sure that the judges would also see the effort that I've put in. Hello. Ooh. See, the juice is already dripping. Yeah. How was it like cooking an entire fish for the first time? I think it was quite intimidating in the sense that I'm not I'm not used to this. I haven't done it before. Overall, I think I did a pretty good job and I hope you think so as well. Ooh. So what are we looking at? You're looking at a trout fish, uh, flavored with dill, tarragon and lemon and garlic. I've also got a savory rice, a potato bake and a warm bowl for you guys. Shall we? Okay, let's shall. Taste. dig in. <laughs> <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, Fatima, I think uh, getting the fish was obviously a bit of a challenge uh, because you just haven't done it before. It's got quite a bit of fattiness, so it's really difficult to completely overcook it, but I think you, you just got it right in terms of the doneness of the fish. I, I really liked it. Thank, Thank you. you. Fatima, your spread was, is, was so th well thought out. Um, I, I love your fish. Um, I think you really did well. For me, I'm going to disagree. It's a little bit over for me. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit flaky, so I, I would have wanted it to be just a little bit softer okay. so it can go with the rest of your spread. But you did well in that amount of time that you got. Congratulations. Thank you. Fatima, I thought um, the rice itself, it has such a nice distinctive flavor to it. The sweetness that comes from the sultanas is beautiful. The butternut and pea salad is quite nice and refreshing. I thought uh, actually the fish was cooked beautifully. I liked how flaky it is, which is what I like actually. I thought everything converged well together and I liked it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Fatima. Thank, Thank you, Fatima. you. I'm pretty concerned about Timbis and not being very happy with the fish itself, but she's quite happy with the sides. It's putting some hope in my heart. Her spread was simple but effective. Mm. You know, it did the job. It hit the right notes. I'm just not sure it's enough. Do you know the one thing that she doesn't have that everybody else brought was there was a fresh element with everyone's sort of yeah. sort of spread. But honestly, I would also be intimidated by this fish. Mm. Why? No lies. It's huge, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> I mean, in, in two hours and, and you look at that fish and you're thinking, am I even going to be able to make this fish in two hours? And am I going to get it right? And it's an elimination round. There's a lot at stake. I think she had the, she had the difficult pick out of the yeah. bunch, you know, so yeah. I think she did well from that point of view. I think it's time to make a decision. Yo, <laughs> inspired perfect for all types of dishes including meatless meals we've got you covered by the best color your plate with cool today's judgment day i think everybody brought it i'm feeling a bit nervous because while i know i can cook i know they can cook too i'm gonna take anything that comes at me but i know whatever happens happens so i'm just very calm self-doubt begins to creep in and you start thinking, did I add this? Did I add that? Are they going to love it as much as I do? Tembisa thinks that my fish is overcooked, but Arthur seems to be of the opinion that it is cooked well enough, so it could go either way. Well, we asked for a feast and we got feasts from all of you. I think you guys did a fantastic job you all deserve a warm round of applause. Yes. Well Debo? Yes. The funny chef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today and bringing a bit of humor to the kitchen today. Try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Try my best. It was lovely. It was lovely. Thank you for having me. And so for this challenge, there is a winner. And it was such a difficult decision to make because you all brought it. We enjoyed it. We dug in. But there has to be a winner. I really want to win today. To be honest, I just want to be safe. The winner for this challenge is... Matlats. Oh, yes. <laughs> I brought it today. It did not come to play yet. Proud of my chummy. To me, but a proud of you, girl. <laughs> and as a winner, you walk away with a Le Creuset stoneware set oh, with yes. 5,000 Rand. Yes, well done. thank you. Yes. Today, again, you proved to us there's depth to you as well. The dessert wasn't even necessary, but you still brought it. Well done. It was difficult to make a decision on who is the winner for today, and it was equally as challenging to make a decision on who's going home today. My mind was racing, so I was like, did it get to that point? Is it there? Yo. Super anxious and nervous right now. I don't want to go home. It's going to be a close one. And the contestant going home today is? I'm thinking I am going home. I'm not a chef, like some of my competitors, so I'm thinking it's me. Fatima. It's okay. 
I'm actually not disappointed. I'm proud of myself. I've made it so far. I'm taking away a skill learned of how to cook a whole fish. I'd like to thank everyone for this opportunity. It's definitely something out of the box. I've never, I've never done this before. I've never done a cooking show before or even a cooking competition before. I'm proud of myself. I made it to the top five. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely be proud of yourself. Today, like Arthur said, was difficult. All four of you brought amazing, amazing feasts. The three ladies next to you were just that one step better. But you can be proud of yourself. Yeah cooking that fish for the first time, yes. really yes. being out of your comfort zone, you did well. Thank you. And you can be proud of yourself. Well done. The three of you, we'll see you in the next challenge. Yes. That means top four, baby! Game plan, flavor, 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 flavor. Top four, baby! I can smell it <laughs> and smell the prize. Inspiring Mzanzi to be healthier and stronger with tasty, convenient and nutritious meal solutions. See you next week on Colour Your Plate with Koo. Another feel-good production.